I'm Liz Holtzworth, and I'm the lead for multimedia and online learning here at the Georgia Tech Library. The software is known as Leganto, but faculty will know it as reading lists, and it fully replaces course reserves. You enable it in your Canvas courses, and then using it, you can add eBooks, articles, book chapters to your course materials, so your students can look at their course materials right in Canvas. You can also add uh, resources from the web, YouTube, and other streaming media just as easily as you add library stuff. And you can also make purchase requests so we can buy the textbooks or eBooks that you need uh, for your students. So my name is Jack Probst. I'm a lecturer in the ITM or IT management uh, area of concentration. And I teach uh, management 4450 and 6450, which is project management. About a year and a half ago, I was trying to expand my use of case studies in my coursework. And so I ran across a text, uh, which is a series of case studies that was written by Harold Kersner. And it, in there, there was a number of cases that I felt would be very useful for discussion within my class, but it was only eight or 10. So there really didn't seem to be a reason why I would ask students to purchase the book. So what I did is I worked through the library to identify not only the individual cases, but we are also able to reference the cases through the novel um, link. And so we created a permanent link and I would assign the students a reading, uh, go through novel, they would then access the text, they would read the, the text and then we would discuss it in class or they would have homework or what have you. Uh, March of this year, uh, for whatever reason, there was a contract issue and we were no longer able to work with Novel. Early this summer, I got a contact, I was contacted by Amy who said, hey, listen, we've got this great new system, Legato, would be wonderful if we could put these into a reading list that then your students could access directly from Canvas. So I worked over the summer with the library. They converted over all of the PDFs that I had in the reserve list. They went into Legato. We ran some tests. It worked perfectly. And so now I have a reading list in Canvas and the students have that same link in their Canvas sidebar. And so I assign them a reading. They then go into my reading list. They um, access that particular document, read it, and then we discuss it in class. My name is Shaquise Hall, and I am an instructional designer for um, GTP, which is also Georgia Tech's professional education department. So actually one of my coworkers had mentioned how the e-reserves was going to be upgraded to Leganto or the reading list. But then as the, um, the program was being implemented, I got in contact with Amy to learn even more about it to ensure that I am using it correctly for a few of the courses that currently have, that I developed that currently have, um, that use at the time e-reserves. I feel like it definitely has made it easier to keep all of the readings that the professor provide me with, organize within the course. I love the fact that I'm able to even organize it so I can label it by weeks, by modules, however I see fit. So I love that aspect of it. So students are easily able to um, access the reading list and they can see exactly like these are the readings for module one, etc. And then I also love the um, cited feature. So I love the fact that like if a professor tells me like, hey, I want to use this particular reading, like I don't have to manually cite it or use an additional resource or citing resource to cite it, I just press that cite it button and it cites it and automatically uploads into the list. And I think that is amazing and definitely makes the process of adding um, readings or any other additional materials very easily to the course. Well, it puts the resources right where the learning is going to happen. So students don't have to navigate away from Canvas to do their reading. It's a lot easier to communicate with the librarians. Um, you can just message them right in reading lists versus having to fill out a cumbersome form over and over again. Oh, from the library's perspective, it's been a big hit. So we started doing demos last year. We had a lot of positive feedback and already our usage stats are nearly twice as high as they were uh, for all of 2022. So people are really enjoying it and we're seeing a lot of use.